the new Evercom standard with all-wheel drive with one of two Ingenium turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engines. The headliner P300 model features a 296 horsepower unit with 295 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 miles per hour is promised in 6.3 seconds, with a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Fitted with a standard 48 volt mild hybrid assist for enhanced stop start functionality. This spec unfortunately wasn't available for testing during the model's global launch in Greece. The base P250 i4, with its 246 horsepower and 269 pound feet of torque, was up to the job along my test routes coastal and occasionally mountainous Peloponnesian roads, but it never felt particularly swift. 0 to 60 miles per hour is quoted at 7.0 seconds. That acceleration isn't slow for a 4,000 pound SUV, but nor is it particularly swift. Top speed is an academically slower 143 miles per hour. My base engine tester was also fitted with the aforementioned 48 volts setup, but the lower powered engine offering won't be sold with this electric assist tech in North America. More regrettably, Land Rover officials tell me a new plug-in hybrid model will remain overseas only for the foreseeable future. Fortunately, the Evox standard 9-speed ZF automatic is well behaved and snappy. I found that the paddle shifters were best left alone except when wanting to summon extra engine braking on steep downhills. With peak torque happening from just 1,300 revolutions per minute, there's enough grunt to pull away from stoplights authoritatively even with a lower engine spec, but this powertrain isn't particularly characterful, though it is quieter. The EPA has rated the 2020 Evoque in its upper engined, mild hybrid version at 21 miles per gallon city, 26 highway, and 23 combined, middling figures for the class. Efficiency ratings for the base engine are pending. X-ray vision I mentioned the availability of a digital rear view mirror, but there's another, even more novel and impressive use of cameras on this new Evoc, clear sight ground view. The optional system goes a step beyond the available 360 degree camera suite by taking views from the forward facing cameras on the grille and side mirrors and stitching them into a composite image showing what's directly under the front of the vehicle. This video feed isn't quite live, it's delayed by a few eye blinks to effectively show you what's already beneath your tires. It's as if you've got x-ray vision and are staring directly through the hood and down to the front wheels. Aside from being a neat party trick, clear sight ground view shows the orientation of your front wheels to help you negotiate tricky rocks and tree routes when off-roading. This low-speed system will no doubt be used by Everconers far more frequently to avoid scarring their front fascias when nuzzling up to the parking berms at their local hot yoga studio. Starting from $42,650 plus $995 for destination, last year's model was $41,800. The 2020 Land Rover Range Rover Evoc definitely isn't cheap, in fact, pricing starts north of most of its competitors by many thousands of dollars and it's easy to spec one deep into the mid $50,000 range. Then again, provided you don't need any extra space, the Evoc is sufficiently premium in its execution that it feels like a legitimate substitution for luxury subs that are a class or two above it in size. Simply put. Nothing feels as upscale or as fashionable in its class, nor is anything remotely as capable off-road. 